Mercury and the Woodman Long, long ago, in the early days of the world, the messenger god Mercury was walking through a forest when he heard someone groaning and moaning nearby. He hurried through the trees and found that the voice belonged to a woodman. The woodman had been felling a tree on the riverbank when his axe had bounced off the trunk, flown out of his hands and fallen into the water. Now he stood by the water's edge lamenting his loss. Mercury felt very sorry for the woodman. How would he make a living without the tool of his trade? To the woodman's huge surprise, the god suddenly dived into the river. No sooner had Mercury plunged into the water than he had reappeared, holding a golden axe. Is this what you lost? he asked the woodman. The woodman, of course, was tempted for a moment to reply that the amazing axe was his. But being an honest fellow, he sighed and did not. Then Mercury dived a second time and brought up a silver axe and asked if it was the woodman's. No, that is not mine either, said the woman with a deep sigh. Once more Mercury dived into the river and this time he brought up the woodman's missing axe. The woodman was overjoyed at recovering his property and thanked the god heartily. In turn, Mercury was so pleased with the woodman's honesty that he made him a present of the two other axes. The woodman couldn't believe it. He hurried home and told the story to his friends, who were of course filled with envy. One of them was so jealous that he was determined to try his luck for himself. The man went to the edge of the river and began to fell a tree, and presently let his axe drop into the water. Mercury peered as before, and on learning that the axe had fallen in, he dived and again brought up a golden axe. Without waiting to be asked if it was his or not, the man cried, That's mine! That's mine! and stretched out his hand eagerly for the prize. But Mercury was so disgusted at his dishonesty that not only did he take away the golden axe, he also refused to recover the one that had fallen into the river. Honesty is the best policy.